things that we did different here is that we actually had to come up with the materials ourselves and make different types of um, agar ourselves. We didn't just get things handed to us. Whereas in school, I would just be doing it because I had to do it because it's something I had to study to get a good grade. But here I'm doing it because I want to do it and it's because it's something I enjoyed and we're experimenting on our own. We're conducting our own experiments. We're not being told what we have to do. My school has a very good bio biology course, but it's not really open-minded or actually giving you the ideas or tools to do thing, do different things with. Well, I like being in this lab setting because it's really hands-on. Like, we get to actually make Petri plates instead of having them handed to us. And we get to make broth and all these mediums that help bacteria grow and we see how they grow best. I didn't expect bacteria to grow from drinking water. <laughs> well, it helped me in school because my school isn't really focused on like science, it's more English and like math. So here I got to learn more. I probably wouldn't have learned this in science class. It's more so the teacher tells you what you're going to be doing and you do it for a grade. But here it's kind of more hands-on and you do have like it's supervised so that you don't like explode anything. I'm happy to be here. Uh, yes, actually both samples I used were extremal files and grew in every single compound I used wow. and in every single environment. I really wanted to know what happens next and that's a big part of um, chemistry. You want to know what happened next after you test this, then you test that, then you test, test, test and that's a major part in life. What Carnegie Institution is doing for students, uh, whether or not they are studying um, science, is really great. It gives us an opportunity to learn about the environment, about the space, about what's, um, why we should care about our universe. From helping other people out with the things around the lab, it's just really interesting getting a grasp on how other people learn. Um, because I know last year, I. I was a hands-on learner and a visual learner where some people learn by hearing, some people learn through just having something demonstrated in front of them, that sort of thing. So it's just interesting getting a grasp on how other people take in information. You know, and because I really like what I do, I shouldn't be deterred by like one small problem. Like it should be my end results that keep me moving forward. You know, one bump in the road doesn't stop the show. Mm -hmm. <laughs>